An open top box with a square base is to be constructed by taking a 48 by 48 square piece of material, cutting an X by X square section from each corner and folding the sides up. Write a function in terms of X to compute the volume of the box. For what number X is the value of the volume maximized? Solution here, notice the goal is maximize volume. What volume? Well, the volume of a box that will be formed once we fold the flaps, right? Well, it looks more or less like this. And what is important here is to notice that once you construct the box, the height of the box, since we're gonna fold this up, should be equal to X, right? X. Also notice that the width should be 48, minus x here, minus x here. So 48 minus twice x, right? Similarly, the length 48 minus x here, minus x here, 48 minus twice x. Okay, now the volume is equal to the width times the length times the height, right? So our volume will be equal to the width 48 minus twice x times the length 48 minus twice x times the height x. Let's foil this out. V should be equal to 48 times 48. That you can get with your scientific calculator. I'm using here Desmos scientific calculator. 48 times 48 is 2304. 48 times negative 2x is minus 96x. Minus 96x again. Minus 2x times minus 2x plus 4x squared, right? And this is just what we got our whole in these two out. Notice there is still an X there. Simplifying, this is gonna be 2,304 minus 96, minus 96 is 192 negative X plus four X squared times X. Finally, the volume will be x times 4x squared, 4x cubed, x times negative 192x, b negative 192x squared, and finally this times this should be plus 2304x, right? Now, remember in order to maximize the volume, we have to set the derivative of V with respect to X equal to zero, right? So we can catch the critical value. So the derivative of this guy is equal to, three coming down, multiplying four is 12 X squared <clears throat> minus two multiplying 192 will be, 384x mm -hmm. plus 2,304, right? This is the derivative that should be equal to zero. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation and I'm gonna solve it in general, right? I know you may say, we could divide both sides of the equation by 12, that can be done, right? But Imagine the division produces here decimals. We don't wanna carry 
over error, right? We want to do it as accurate as possible. So we're gonna use the quadratic formula, which is this. With a equal 12, b equal negative 384, and c equal 2,304, right? Again, we're putting ourselves worst case scenario, right? Suppose the numbers are not friendly. This is what you have to do. All right, now for the computational part, we're gonna use our scientific calculator, right? We need a fraction. So we're gonna choose this fraction. And then minus b should be what? Minus negative 384. I'm gonna start with plus, then I will calculate the, the one with minus, plus a square root of b square. b square is minus 384 square minus four ac, four times a, 12. c is 2,304 mm -hmm. over twice a twice a, twice 12, right? Look, I got 24 for the first solution, right? That's when I use plus, when I use minus, I get eight. So two possible solutions, 24 and eight, right? Let's write it down. X 24 or X equal eight. But which one? is the one. Well, in order to figure that out, we can evaluate x into our volume function, right? Noticing that x should be greater or equal than zero, zero is smallest value for x, and less than or equal than, notice this is 48, what's the biggest value x could be? Well, half of 48, right? Half of 48, right? Half of 48 here, you will be left with nothing there, right? For the other dimension. So half of 48 is 24. All right, so uh, we have to evaluate X at end point zero, critical point eight, end point 24, right? And C, which leads to the highest volume. Uh, clearly, if you evaluate your volume function, which is here, at x equals zero, this should be zero, this should be zero, this should be zero, so the volume should be zero, right? If you evaluate your volume function at eight, let's see what happens. Let's do it in our calculator. Four times eight cubed minus 192 eight squared plus, plus 2,304 eight. We get 8,192, right? 8,192. Okay. And notice that if you evaluate this at 24, since I explained to you that if you take 24 from each um, corner, there is not gonna be material left to form the box. So this should be zero, right? As you can see, zero. All right, so the one we take then is the one that makes sense is this, right? Eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. Eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. And this should be in here max because this is zero, right? So clearly this is where the maximum happens. So X has to be equal to eight in order to maximize the volume, right? So 
for x equal 8, volume is maximized. And here you have the function that represents your volume, right? 